Welcome back. Well, when it comes to sports movies, the 1993 classic Rudy ranks right near the top. The true underdog story profiles the journey of Daniel Rudy Rudiger, who overcame several obstacles to fulfill his dream of playing football at Notre Dame. This week, the real-life Rudy, who's now a motivational speaker, was in Fargo speaking at a technology conference hosted by High Point Networks. That's where our Jody Norstead caught up with him. Thanks, Kelly. It's my pleasure to be joined by Daniel Rudy Rudiger of the film, the 1993 film Rudy, of course, starring a Notre Dame football player, a real great underdog story. And it's our pleasure to have Rudy here with us, uh, thanks to High Point Networks. And Rudy, uh, obviously this is a film that is about, what, 24 years old since it came out, but had a big impact on my life, I know, and an impact, I'm sure, on a lot of our viewers being sports fans. When this movie first came out, did you think it was going to have the impact that it really had? Well, well that's a great question. Were you born when it came I out? I was born. I was born in 86, so okay. I saw it when I was young. Yeah, yeah, you saw it when you were young. So the movie did have an impact because of the message. I knew the message would last, but didn't know the movie would. So people take that movie and give it to their children, and the children grow up and give it to their children. So it's a timeless message. And, you know, the Notre Dame myth, and also, uh, when I grew up, it was important for a Catholic family to end up at Notre Dame. So it was a dream. You got in there, and yeah, I mean, it, you think about the iconic moments. Running out onto the field out of that right. tunnel had to be something really special against Georgia Tech. And then running out there onto the field to play in those last couple plays in that game. Can you describe, do you remember still what that feeling was like emotionally for you? <laughs> You'll never forget it. But you cannot duplicate it. That's hard because that comes once in a lifetime. It's the preparation and what you call the agony you went through to get there. It all came to a head of joy of I'm glad I didn't quit. I'm glad this happened. And what do you do after that? But it was more of you didn't quit. You didn't abandon the dream made it special. Uh, and I think preparation was another important part of it because I would never I made that tackle if I didn't prepare in practice to do that. So I was ready for that moment. Didn't know I was going to get it, but you got to be ready for it. When you first watched the movie, what was kind of going through your head? Uh, you know, it's funny because uh, I put the team together to do the movie mm -hmm. for 10 years. And we're in editing, we're at Sony Pictures on the um, TriStar Lot, Columbia TriStar Lots. And I'm watching the editor edit. Every, he had a big storyboard up there. And put, I didn't know we had a movie. Uh, because everything's out of sequence. And then he puts the movie in sequence, the story. Then you watch the music put together, and that's when you say, you know, we have a good story. You have such an inspiring testimony of kind of overcoming the odds. A, a learning disability, you got turned down by Notre Dame, uh, I think multiple times, just because you didn't have the grades. Right. How do you use that kind of as your motivation to go about well, what you do now as a motivational speaker? Well, that's the key. I had to get the grades in order to get to Notre Dame. So what was the secret to that? Being involved with people who allowed you to be you and help you to get to that point. A lot of uh, help, a lot of mentoring, a lot of tutoring, but it worked. And it, and, and it worked for me because I was willing to pay the price. Mm -hmm. uh, most people will quit if they don't get their first shot. That was my only choice, Notre Dame, and whatever I had to do. So I wasn't going to give up on that. But more importantly, I think because of that, you learn so much about yourself. But before you learn that, you were in the Navy, you worked in a power plant, in a, in a steel mill. You learned all the, what you call, common sense rules of life. So common sense had a lot to do with this. How many times do you get back to Notre Dame? Well, you, I, know you're I go back once up. a year okay. uh, for a book signing. Uh, they showed the movie Rudy in the new stadium about three weeks ago. And they had about 15,000 people show up to, on the new Jumbotron. So that was an honor. Yeah. They show that movie every year to the freshmen. So I don't think the kids know who Newt Rockney is, but they know who Rudy is. I was going to say, how have you maybe had to change, because you've been motivationally speaking for probably close to two decades now. Right. How have you kind of had to change the way that you speak to maybe kids, organizations? Sure. Well, you know, people are people, number one. No matter what they're doing, they have... They have emotions, and they have heart, and they have an idea. Uh, so you got to put all that together. People like stories. So you learn to tell a story with the message. 
and they're always connects. Well, Rudy, we really appreciate the time. And thank you to High Point Networks as well. Kelly, back to you. All right, thanks, guys. Rudy even attended a JV football game at Fargo Shanley the night before the conference after being invited by a friend who lives in Fargo. When we come back, some fairly interesting head-to-head -head questions today. Jason Andera and Brian Sean will battle it out with their brains. That's next on Midco Sports Tonight. Midco Sports Tonight, presented by Avera Orthopedics.